Welcome to the Gauntlet, where the jankiest Magic the Gathering tribal decks battle it out for glory, but most of all, your viewing pleasure. And of course, we would love it if you would participate in our leaderboard, where the winner will take home a Phyrexian secret layer drop. So, if you want to be a part of the leaderboard, all you have to do is predict the winner of the next match and comment it down below this video. So now, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. And Bram, tell us something about the two decks in this video. I will do that, Nora. We are in the finals and the finals will be a battle between clerics and the surprisingly big monsters called the Kavu. Let's look at the decks first. Let's start with the Clerics, a tribal deck full of fun combos. They have a combo with Archfiend's Vessel. They have Ailey, Eternal Pilgrim and there's Aura as well. Some older cards in the deck, Planner Guide, Edgewalker and Call of the Dead Dweller is there to get that small Cleric back and to turn it into a demon. On the other side, of course, we have the Kavos, maybe the surprise of this gauntlet. Radiant Kavu, Flame Tongue Kavu, but most importantly, Kavu Predator is the big powerhouse because when your opponent gains life, that Kavu Predator gets huge. And for that, we have Fiery Justice, Primal Command, and Source to Plowshares. <laughs> Fight! But before we start, shout out to Card Market. Wanna get a free booster or some singles? Wanna try out Card Market for the first time? Check out the link in the description below. And also, big shout out to Dragon Shield, greatest sleeves in the business. And a great beast is a Sky Shroud Cutter. That's one that we didn't see before. It's there because of course it can give life, flame tongue yearly, another Kavu that can deal damage. We see some lands and the last one is a cinder glade. Not the most explosive start for the Kavus. So let's see how they fare against the next deck, the next hand with Sin Collector. Now this one can have your opponent exile an instant or sorcery from the hand. We also see a Temple of Silence, very flavorful. Love the art by Adam Paquette. A little bit of a Games of Thrones vibe here is a combo piece, Daru Spiritualist. We already saw the infinite combo with this card. And we also have a little meme from Victoria Village Rides. Psychic like creature, draw two cards. So you're learning Russian. Here is Cleric of Life's Bond. This one has done some damage as well. It can get big because it gains life and gets bigger. And we're off Temple of Silence for the Clerics. And this one stays on top. Kavu's draw, another Kavu. And they will also start with a Cinder Glade. Above that, two Sky Shroud Cutters, because Cinder Glade is a forest. We give the Cleric some life, we play some two drops, some two twos for free. Here is another one Cleric of Life's Bond for the defense. Let's see if the Kavus now can start hitting. No Predator, so they have to do it with the Cutters. Back to the clerics, they draw a swampy. And here is Sin Collector. Let's see if we can get an instant or sorcery out of the hand of the Kavus. No instants or sorceries, so just a 2 1. And one life gained, three damage from Cleric of Life's Bond. Kavus play now Radiant Kavu and Black Creatures. The Clerics, they have Black Creatures, so this is quite nice. It's a good card against these Clerics. Oh, but it's getting Orzhov Charmed. That's too bad. Here is the Darrow Spiritualist. 
And that Ars of Charm was a powerful play. Clerics of Life bond is getting bigger, but it stays on defense. We had a Sin Collector. And here is our good friend Kavu Predator. There we go. The all-star of the gauntlet, I must say. Do we have enough life gain spells to make it huge again? Back to the clerics. Here is no also a flame dom healing that kills one of the clerics. No more combo pieces. And that's a nice cleric. Edgewalker makes clerics quite a bit cheaper. And Cleric of Life's Bond is now a 5 5. Kavu Predator also gets bigger, and here is Drana's Emissary. This one is really cool with Clerics of Life's Bond. Also with Kavu Predator. Oh, here is Fiery Justice. Can we fire that off? Yes, we will. On the Cleric of Life's Bond. So this one dies. A lot of life gained and the Predator is now a 8-8 with Trample. And there's the big attack. Only from the Predator. Clerics go to 23. Kavus have their big creature. Let's see what the clerics can do. The draw is an Apostle of Purifying Light. <laughs> now Village Rides. Two cards are drawn. Oh, that's a really important one. That is maybe the crucial card. Here is Fiend Hunter. The one-off Fiend Hunter takes care of the Kavu Predator. And the attack from Didrana's Emissary, Kavus at 12. Can they deal with this flyer? We need some other Kavus that deal damage. Still some land in the hand of the Kavu player. Some nice black and white Innistrad lands. I think the clerics would prefer to have something else. Drana's Emissary goes for the flying attack. It's draining first. Here is Starlit Sanctum. That's also a land that can deal damage. And here is Eily Eternal Pilgrim. And that village rides did a lot of good things for these clerics. They are taking over Drana's Emissary. Oh, here is Kavu Predator number two. Now we have Aria of Flame in the hand. But we have a problem because Ailey Eternal Pilgrim would be able to activate its second ability if the clerics go to 35 because that's 10 more than the starting life total meaning playing Aria of Flame would kill the Predator meanwhile they're sacrificing a cleric to the gods against the Kavus Drana's Emissary is draining some life a little bit of life gain for the Predator Predator gets a little bigger, but who cares? Here is another cleric, Weathered Wayfarer. An attack from Drana's Emissary. Oh, this is going to hurt. Now we have maybe a blocker. Defender, Wall of Shards, also gives some life. That's nice for the Kavu Predator, 1-8. Predator doesn't know what to do. It's stunned by the magical spells of the clerics and especially by the magical power of Ailey, the Eternal Pilgrim. If this card wouldn't be there, it would be a complete other game. Started Sanctum putting the clerics in the driver's seat for the win. Drama's Emissary is putting them at one and the clerics are going to finish it off 
with another sacrifice ability from Starlit Sanctum, Clarics they win the gauntlet, Kavos did well but Clarics were victorious. Thanks a lot for watching, check out the leaderboard in the community tab of the channel from the 1st of June to see out how you did in the leaderboard and stay tuned for some more casual MTG fun and announcements of the last gauntlet coming in December. As always, have a nice day and keep it casual, bye!